Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair Podcast Tapping Recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for podcast number 48, Googlifying OCD. Let's start out with a deep breath first. Now we're going to start with the karate chop point. Even though I get stuck on Google searching. I choose now to begin to believe that there's a better way to do this. Even though there's so much information and I have to find the right information. Even though that may be true, I choose now to honor my abilities to change my ways. Even though I know I've got to find just the right information. Maybe it's about my health. Maybe it's about something I'm going to purchase or maybe it's something to find out about someone else a part of me believes I have to search until I find the exact right information otherwise I may not have the right information Even though that may seem true, I am beginning to believe that there is a different way that I can choose. And I'd like to begin choosing that now. All right, let's go up to, we're going to start on the points of the body. I start with the above the eye. Google is so big. 
There is so much information. The right information must be out there. And I have to find it. Because I want to get the right information. And I know it's out there. I just have to find it. I'll only be on for a short time. I'll stop on the second page. But it drives me crazy knowing that there's so much more. The internet is so powerful. I know it can give me the right stuff. But I also know that there's a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of bad information. So I have to search until I find just the right information. The information that's going to give me the best answer. It's going to give me the real answer. And I believe I've got to find the exact answer. Because who knows what will happen if I get the wrong information. So I know I've got to find the right information. I've got to keep searching. The problem is, I get so stuck. I get so lost in the minutia. There's just too much information. And I have to figure out where to find it, what the answers are, and can I trust it? I've got to trust the information. I've got to know that it's right. So I keep searching and searching until I get really stuck. Before I know it, hours have passed by. Multiple Google pages have passed by. And I find myself very stuck deep within the Google pages. It gets me so lost in there that sometimes I miss other things. Sometimes I'm late for work because I know it's just in the next page. But then it isn't. And I find myself stuck. Lost in time, lost in place, so stuck in Google, so stuck on the internet. Might it be possible that there's a better way, that there's a way 
that I can get unstuck. Might it be possible that there's a way that I don't spend so much time searching on the internet, searching on Google. I'd like to find that way because I get so stuck even though I'm trying to find the right answers it gets so confusing so so confusing Where is the right information? Who do I believe? What do I believe? And where is that right information at? If I really think about it, it's easy to get lost in it. It's so easy to get stuck in the internet. It's easy to get stuck on electronics. I'd like to find a way to shorten my time and allow myself to find just enough information, to find just enough sources, so I don't spend all this time on the internet, in Google, in searching. I'd like to believe there is a way to calm all the searching down. I know I've seen other people do it. There's got to be other people doing it much better than this. But I know for myself, I really get stuck. And I want to find a way to keep from getting stuck. Google does have good information. It also has misleading information. Might it be possible to trust my own intuitions To know what is enough or learn how to find that to teach myself a better way to get help if I need it because I don't want it to mess up my life like it's been doing I don't want to spend my time buried in searches I'd like to be able to do more with my time and less time wasted doing more searches and not being satisfied so might it be possible that I could choose now to begin to believe that I can find a way to change this to be able to use my time more effectively more efficiently more time saving and less stressful 
So I wish to relax now and choose that in my mind, choosing a different path, finding a way to be able to stop this. It might be outside of myself, in some type of therapy, or pulling against my own strengths to begin to find a way to change this pattern, to unstick myself from Google and the internet. It may take time, but I choose to be willing to take the time to find a way to change the pattern and take back my time take my back my patience take back my life I'm choosing now to relax and find a way to do that all right Take a deep breath. I know that was some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then Be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping and keep tapping and have a great day.